Imagine a world both awe-inspiring and terrifying, an ancient earth where nature's rules were dramatically different. A time when the skies were dominated by dragonflies the size of hawks and the forest floor crawled with millipedes longer than a small car. This was the Carboniferous period, a chapter of Earth's history over 300 million years ago that gave rise to giant insects, creatures so vast and alien they defy the imagination. But what made these enormous beings possible and why did they eventually vanish? In this documentary, we'll step back in time to explore the conditions that turned insects into giants, the ecosystems that sustained them, and the environmental shifts that led to their decline. Join us as we uncover the astonishing story of a world both fascinating and terrifying, revealing not only the past, but an appreciation for the fragility of the ecosystem shaping life on Earth. Over 300 million years ago, during the late Paleozoic era, the Earth was a warmer and wetter place. The Carboniferous period, spanning approximately 360 to 300 million years ago, was named for the carbon-rich coal deposits formed during this time. Immense swamps blanketed the land, dominated by lush vegetation like giant ferns and towering scale trees. These swamp forests produced vast amounts of organic material, leading to the coal reserves we use today. The atmosphere was rich in oxygen, with levels far exceeding what we experience today. This oxygen-rich environment, paired with the humid and tropical climate, created the perfect conditions for life to grow, and to grow big. Planet Earth during this period was unrecognizably alien, offering habitats that fueled evolution on a monstrous scale. The Carboniferous period was not only an age of lush vegetation, but also an age of giants, particularly among insects and arthropods. You've likely heard of Meganeura, the dragonfly with an impressive wingspan of nearly 2.5 feet, gliding gracefully above the canopy. On the forest floor, Arthropleura, a millipede stretching up to eight feet long, slithered under the thick vegetation, weaving through damp leaf litter. So how did these creatures become so massive? The main factor was the atmosphere. Oxygen levels during this time reached around 35%, compared to today's 21%. Insects rely on a tracheal respiratory system made of tiny tubes to deliver oxygen to their cells. Higher oxygen availability allowed their bodies to sustain larger sizes, as their systems could efficiently fuel their enormous forms. In this ancient ecosystem, giant insects were not just outliers. They played essential roles as predators, scavengers, and herbivores. Meganeura, for example, was an apex predator of the skies, swooping down with sharp mandibles to snatch smaller prey. On the forest floor, Arthropleura consumed decaying plant matter, recycling nutrients. Smaller insects and amphibians, which were also among the early vertebrates, survived in the shadow of these titans. The availability of such diverse habitats allowed a wide range of organisms to interact, forming a unique and dynamic food chain. The towering plants provided shelter for smaller creatures and food for the herbivores, thus creating a bustling ecosystem full of life and competition. Swamp forests were the backbone of Carboniferous life. These sprawling ecosystems were dominated by plants like lycophytes and massive trees, some over 100 feet tall, with bark-like exteriors that shed seasonally. These plants were highly efficient in producing oxygen, creating an atmosphere where gigantic arthropods thrived. The dense vegetation also provided the perfect microclimate for moisture retention, sustaining the conditions necessary for life. This allowed a multitude of insects and arthropods to adapt and grow alongside the flora. Without these forests and their oxygen production, giants of this scale would likely never have evolved. Nature during the Carboniferous was both incredibly robust and extraordinarily fragile. The very phenomena that supported life, like the high oxygen levels, also created a delicate balance that could tip with the slightest disruptions. One of the critical dependencies of the giant insect population was on their atmosphere. Even a minor decline in oxygen levels would affect the tracheal respiratory efficiency of these massive creatures, spelling trouble for their survival. Additionally, the interconnected relationships between plants, insects, and early vertebrates meant that any collapse in one part of the system, whether from climate shifts or resource depletion, could create a domino effect. Understanding this fragility offers valuable insights into the interconnectedness of ecosystems today. 
The most striking feature of the Carboniferous was undoubtedly the scale of its insects. Consider Meganura, whose fossilized remains reveal a formidable aerial predator. With long, slender wings and a body that stretched far beyond any modern-day dragonfly, Meganura commanded the skies. Its size wasn't just for show, it was adapted to dominate its ecosystem, hunting smaller insects with precision and agility. Meanwhile, Arthropleura prowled the forest floor. These millipede-like creatures weren't carnivorous, but instead feasted on decomposing plant material. Despite its reputation as a gentle giant, its size alone likely intimidated potential predators, ensuring its dominance in the terrestrial ecosystem. Other creatures of note included giant scorpions and spiders, each preying upon other arthropods or taking advantage of the rich vegetation to hide from threats. Together, they formed an ecosystem of giants. Despite their imposing size, the Carboniferous giants weren't invulnerable. Early amphibians, for example, were emerging predators in their own right, capable of preying on smaller insects or the juvenile stages of larger species. In response, many insects developed defensive adaptations, such as hard exoskeletons or toxic chemicals, to ensure survival. Predation forced constant evolutionary innovation, making the Carboniferous ecosystem a battleground where only the most adaptable species could thrive. It was survival of the largest, and also the smartest. So what happened to these giant insects? Why don't we see dragonflies with 2.5 foot wingspans or millipedes the size of humans today? The answer lies in the environmental shifts that marked the end of the Carboniferous period. As the period transitioned into the Permian, Earth's climate grew drier and cooler. The sprawling swamp forests vanished, taking with them the high oxygen levels essential for the survival of giant insects. Fossil evidence also points to increased competition from evolving vertebrates, particularly reptiles, which were better suited to the changing conditions. Without their ideal habitats and atmospheric advantages, many giant insects either shrank in size to adapt or disappeared entirely, leaving behind only their fossilized remnants to tell their story. Science fiction often imagines the resurgence of giant insects in modern times, but the truth is less dramatic. Today's oxygen levels and planetary environments simply cannot sustain creatures of that size. While entertaining, the idea of giant insects roaming our cities remains firmly in the realm of fiction. Instead, their existence offers insight into how Earth's past atmosphere shaped its ecosystems. How do we know about these ancient giants? Fossils are our window into the Carboniferous past. Preserved remains of creatures like Meganeura and Arthropleura help paleontologists piece together their anatomy, behavior, and ecology. Advanced techniques such as 3D modeling and biomechanical simulations allow scientists to study how these creatures might have flown, crawled, or fed millions of years ago. The story of the Carboniferous period serves as a reminder of how environmental changes can have drastic and widespread effects on life. Just as rising oxygen levels enabled gigantism, their decline spurred extinction. Today, with the Earth's atmosphere and climate undergoing rapid changes due to human activity, the Carboniferous holds crucial lessons about the fragility and resilience of ecosystems. By studying the past, we can better understand how biodiversity responds to changes, ensuring that modern species have a fighting chance against the challenges of a rapidly shifting world. Giant insects of the Carboniferous period inspire both awe and dread. They were creatures of their time, shaped by unique atmospheric and ecological conditions that no longer exist. Yet their legacy remains an incredible testament to nature's adaptability and the dramatic possibilities of life when given the right conditions. Through their story, we glimpse the incredible power of evolution and the delicate interplay between life and the environment. As we uncover the secrets of the past, we are reminded of our responsibility to protect the future of the ecosystems that sustain us today. After all, the giants may be gone, but the lessons their world offers are more relevant than ever.